Welcome back Epic Army, this is Blister and today we got another hot topic for you and that is the current state of Blizzard. Since BlizzCon 2018, it would be fair to say that Activision Blizzard has been navigating some pretty rough waters with their fans. They all but spit in the face of their hardcore Diablo fans with the announcement of Diablo Immortal, World of Warcraft's patch 8.1 was supposed to fix multiple large issues with the state of the game, but it failed to do so and brought even more questionable actions on Blizzard's part. Overwatch has become a shell of itself, and the community's toxicity continues to become worse and worse while Jeff sits back in his content in just releasing new heroes and maps rather than change up the game. Heroes of the Storm has essentially been dropped by the company with the pull from esports and moving large parts of the team onto other projects. All of these issues have direct ties to Activision's ever-growing influence in the day-to-day -day operations at Blizzard. Games aside, Activision's influence is harming Blizzard in other ways. Blizzard is losing employees left and right. We're all aware of the 100 people who took the payout to leave Blizzard and of the recent news of the Blizzard CFO being fired before he could quit. And even more recently, they also lost the Activision Blizzard CFO as well. Now, None of this tells us how many people at the company who are actively seeking other jobs, or employees who may have already left because of the influence of Activision. Employees have openly said that they could feel a shift in the culture at Blizzard. Blizzard had never been a company that worried about the cost of developing a game because they were a gameplay first company. But now employees are saying that the company is going to focus on cost cutting. What do you think will be the first thing they look at? Maybe a 10 year development period where no game is created and millions of dollars are essentially lost? Yeah, maybe that. But it is a polar opposite of what Blizzard used to stand for. It truly feels like when ex-Blizzard CEO Mike Morheim stepped down that Blizzard was entirely engulfed by Activision. We've even seen the community's outcry for Blizzard to right the ship. Not only are content creators like Asmongold, Riker, as Ragtag, Nixium, and Belial are worried about their games, they're worried about Blizzard. The content creators aren't the only ones expressing their discontent. Posts on Reddit and on the forums have been seen and read by millions of people who feel the same way about the lack of commitment from Blizzard to their products. Back to Activision. So where can we see their influence in Blizzard products? The last title that was released by Blizzard before the merger in December of 2007 was World of Warcraft's first expansion, Burning Crusade. For a lot of people, this would be evidence enough that Activision has led to the downfall of Blizzard, because Burning Crusade was the last legitimate game that Blizzard has released. But we need to take a step further because Wrath of the Lich King was still extremely successful and was released after the merger. A lot of the development of Wrath would have taken place well before the merger. That, combined with the story arc of Arthas, makes sense as to why WoW's subs were still growing in Wrath. But that was the last time they had growth. Since Cataclysm, which would have been the first full title under the Blizzard Activision umbrella, WoW has steadily lost subs with the exception of the hype of a new expansion. Blizzard has had other games released in that time frame as well. Diablo 3 is a good example of where we see a possibility of Activision's influence. Diablo 3 launched with an in-game auction house system that allowed players to buy items with in-game currency or real-life money. Could this have been one of the first major influences of Activision? We can't say for certain, but it does seem likely. If it had been a Blizzard idea, they would have more than likely spent more time trying to fix it rather than removing it from the game entirely. Diablo 3 hasn't seen any real content since the scrapping of the second expansion when everything was just released for the players. Blizzard was able to get a small microtransaction from this game with the Necromancer pack, but other than that, there is very limited money to be made from this game. After seeing the massive amount of money Blizzard had the potential to rake in, it would make sense that Activision would push them to do more. How do you do more? Simple, release a game that has the highest potential for microtransactions, a mobile game. Thus, Diablo Immortal was created. What about Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm? Hearthstone surely maintains a healthy state as their entire game is driven around microtransactions, so Activision must be happy with it. 
However, Heroes of the Storm does not have the same potential. This is most certainly why quote unquote Blizzard has pulled most of the team away from Heroes and put them onto other projects. And where does Overwatch fit into all of this? Overwatch itself is a fantastic game, but it's stale as all it offers is new skins and new maps. For a game that's coming up on its three year anniversary, you would imagine that there would be some more motivation for change. Could all of this mean that Blizzard has plans up their sleeves for a new Overwatch? Could Overwatch already be in maintenance mode or was it just designed that way? Personally, I think it won't have much change because of the Overwatch League. And to go one step further, I strongly believe that Overwatch's success in its first year is why Activision is overstepping into Blizzard so much. Activision saw the potential Blizzard had with the massive amounts of cash Overwatch made and wanted to see more of that. With all that being said, people are hoping that Blizzard can sway from their previous mistakes and once again become the gaming titan it used to be. What will it take for that to happen? Could Classic WoW lead the way? Will Classic WoW save Blizzard from Activision? Looking at what Classic will bring us in comparison to what the players want from Blizzard, there is a decent chance that it could actually save Blizzard. If Classic WoW is successful enough, it could lead to a renaissance for Blizzard to go back to their old design philosophies. Classic will remove a lot of the dumbed down gameplay that we see in a lot of Blizzard titles. Sure, people will argue that the combat is slower and it makes it less fun. But just because it's slower doesn't mean that there's less happening. There are multitudes of choices to be made in Classic, not just in combat, but in all aspects of the game. Your class hasn't been neutered. Your race actually makes a difference. Your talent build can be extremely unique or based on a cookie cutter build. There are many more choices that a player can make in Classic when compared to Retail WoW or any other game Blizzard has to offer. Just imagine for a second, if you will, a world where Classic becomes more popular than Retail WoW and stays like that for six plus months. What would Activision Blizzard do then? Would Blizzard be able to go back to their own design philosophies? Maybe it would show Activision that the old way is the right way. Or maybe we will just continue to see more old school games re-released into the modern Battle.net launcher like we were going to see with Warcraft and most likely Diablo. To be honest with you guys, I'm torn here. I love Blizzard. I've been a fan of Blizzard since the early 2000s, ever since I first played Warcraft 1. But I'm not sure if Blizzard can be saved at this point. They ventured deep down a rabbit hole and it seems like Activision isn't just pouring dirt down on top of them, they're pouring cement. When Classic WoW releases this summer, it will undoubtedly be extremely popular, but will it be enough for fans to restore their faith in Blizzard? I think some people will have their faith restored, but for every small change they put into the release of Classic, it will push another group of players away and back to the private servers and that could lead to more disappointment and outcry from their players. Classic WoW could be a first good step in restoring players' faith in the company, but Blizzard has a hot mess right now and will take more than just restoring an old game to get their players back. On the other hand, if Classic WoW does end up failing because it's either not well received or there are too many changes, what are we going to see then? Will Activision push its influence even further? Will Activision take full control of Blizzard instead of just being influential? There are a lot of questions here to unpack, and only time is going to be able to answer those questions for us. What do you guys think? Can Classic WoW be a step in the right direction for Blizzard following the past few months of trouble? Or are they just too far gone at this point and we're never going to see them return to glory? Keep the conversation going down in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, it's Ratted here. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel. We put out multiple new videos each week and we appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching everyone and cheers.